Greg Hackett. What's up, Bill? What up, Jay? I'm chilling. Monday. Some got the young boys in there. This is the, the calm before the storm. They just got off of school. For sure. Yeah. The early crew. They're about to be in here turned up. I see, see my I hear them ropes, though. Ah. That's the starting point? Yeah, for sure. He a football player, though, believe it or not. A little running back. Bad motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speedy Gonzalez. Young, you trying to make sure your stiff arm's right? <laughs> Yo, yeah. they said um, offensive linemen used to train with uh, Teddy Atlas. Yeah. Because the, the pushing that. is like basically like punching. Yeah, hand coordination too. Mm. Place, placement. You know? Footwork. Yeah, I've seen that before. Saul Canelo Alvarez defeats Gennady yeah. Golovkin. Yeah. I was kind of un underwhelmed. Let me hear your thoughts. I mean, honestly, it's what we all thought. Canelo, he's a younger man. He got the fire right now. He, he fighting a guy that he do know. He been in there with the, in the ring with before. Golovkin, you know what I mean? He started slow. Older man, body got to warm up. Timing got to be there, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure he wasn't sparring nobody like Canelo. Um, you know, took him some time to get it together. He tried to get it together. It was a little too late. You know what I mean? What are we going to do? Was it more about what Canelo was doing or was it more about what Gennady Golovkin isn't anymore? It's about what he isn't because we forget when we see Golovkin. See, Golovkin hit us maybe, what, 10 years ago? Mm. So it's like probably not even 10. It probably was like, it was like eight, eight years. It was like eight years yeah, ago. Yeah, so, so we think about his flame, and, and it's like his flame was so big, and then now it's like, damn. But you got to remember, he's 40 years old. On top of that, a whole lot of amateur fights. You know what I mean? And, and then because of his style, a lot of rough fights. I mean, even though he a knockout artist, but he be, he more so beat on guys and take rounds. So it took a lot out of his body. You know what I mean? He done had a few children. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. He lived his life. Tough guy. And I'm and, and on top of that, probably him coming from Kazakhstan, that being a country, you know what I mean? A country like a country country. Um, pretty sure he put a lot of labor in as a kid. You know what I mean, his body just I don't think it's the same for him no more. I noticed that he he, he wasn't letting his hands go. It was yeah. one or two jabs at a time. Yeah. The right, he left the right hand in the locker room. Yeah, that thing was like sitting on the chair, relaxing. Yeah, um, I didn't see. I only saw him do the, the patented triple G like up hook one time. Yeah, it's like when he got Canelo on the ropes, he didn't make him pay. Yeah, it's like it, I didn't see triple G. I didn't get to see yeah. my typical Gennady Golovkin. But again, that's the age. That's what comes with age. Your vision's a little tainted. Um, your, your reflexes is a little shot, you know what I mean? Because you just, and then another thing you got to remember, he's still trying to compete. No, he is competing at a world-class level. So he's stressing his body at 40 years old. Not everybody can do that, you know what I'm saying? And then because of his style, his style takes a lot out of him, you know what I mean? Because he's a banger, he's trying to beat you up. So when you don't have, you know what I mean? Your reflex is not the same, your time is not the same, things are off, that's gonna happen. You know what I mean? He just got old and it happened. We've seen it before. This was his first fight at 168 pounds. Yeah. He looked a bit heavy. Yeah. Some guys, like a Danny Garcia, when you see him move up to 54, Danny looked shredded. Yeah. Triple G looked a, a tad bit bloated. Yeah. Again, Where does that come from? Again, he. let's keep it real. Triple G probably walk around, like when he was in his prime, he probably walk around 74 at the biggest. Mm -hmm. So to be fighting at 68, coming from 74, walking around probably 80, you know, that's not a, that's not a, he's not really losing the weight. You know what I'm saying? He, he even said in, on one of the interviews that he said, I got to actually eat cheeseburgers and shit like that. And he might've been playing around, but he might've been being serious. You know what I mean? Because his body probably so used to him making 60, he probably was going under 68. Probably he touched like 62 at times, shit like that. You never know because he do take what he, uh, he take training serious. Mm -hmm. So because he takes his training serious, you know what I'm saying? He probably was down in weight look, and, and a lot lower than he should have been way before the weigh-ins, you know what I mean? So he probably did have to eat a cheeseburger or some, you know, he said tacos, shit like that, you know what I mean? Just to put the weight back on. Where does Canelo Alvarez go from here? David Benavidez. I want to see that fight. I want to see him and Caleb Plant rematch. Um, I want to see him and Big Charlo, Jamal, Jamal Charlo. I'd like to see that fight. Um, I feel like the kid Morrell got to wait a little bit. Mm. I think it'll be too fast for him. But it'll be a good fight because he a big kid, a lot of energy. Um, but uh, to be honest, I think Canelo should just go ahead, ride off into the sunset, fall back. I mean, be the king of Mexico.